Yeah, this is a very ancient grove of wild cactus, I guess you might say. And I've been observing it since I got here many months ago. And now it's got all the prickly, cat, prickly pears on it. However, I think it's dying. It's pretty much dying. Most of the plants don't have any on them at all, any prickly pears. Um, they're all, there's this fungus growing on them. And I'm going to bet that it has a lot to do with the chemical spraying that they do in the orchard. The snail poison, the neurotoxin snail poison that they put on the, they put on the ground. And therefore, I think the water runoff comes over here to these cactus plants. Because they've obviously been here for a long, long time. I don't know what the life of a cactus is, but I bet these have been here for many, 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 many decades. Cactus kind of grows a little slow for the most part. And all of this down here, I mean, we've had quite a few times of drought. <clears throat> and maybe this is a drought thing for them right now, and that's why they're dying, but based on the trunks and how huge they are, I'm going to have to do some research about that, how long the life of a cactus is. They're just shriveling up and dying. And this one here is in its last throes of life. The fungus really took over. It even has, there's some prickly pears in there that are actually red. <laughs> Whatever this stuff is, it's on them. It's like barnacles. It reminds me of when I've seen pictures of ships or even whales when they have barnacles on the bottom of them. This one looks like one of the healthiest. It has the most prickly pears on it. They're huge. And sadly, most of them have some of this, these barnacles on it, this fungus, they seem to be around where the um, spines come out, the prickles, whatever you call those things, the needles on the cactus plant. I don't know what they're referred to as. This one over here, this plant over here actually looks even healthier. It hardly has any of this fungus on it. Maybe it's kind of like the bark beetle or whatever, you know, once it grabs a hold, it grabs a hold of the weakest plant. Just like humans, you know, the survival of the fittest. When your body is sick and not cared for properly, you're more susceptible to whatever cooties going around. All the different problems that face society. The weaker your system is, the weaker your body is, the worse nutrition you feed it, the exposure you have to chemicals, toxins, fungus, parasites. It eventually runs the demise of your body, just like these plants. So, let this be a lesson and take care of your body better. Take care of your body. It's an inside job and it starts with your mouth. That's a great place to start with your mouth. Quit putting the stuff in your mouth that, and quit putting the stuff in your mind that makes your mind sad. And the stuff in your mouth makes your body sad. Okay, make it a wonderful day. Today is August 21st, 2018. Subscribe to my channel, my airspace. The button's down there in the lower right. Down there in the right. Thank you. 
Ta-ta for now. Bye!